CBS Radio brings you The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch, and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. Dear, where are you? <laughs> I'm out here in the driveway, washing the car. Listen, can you say somebody is unpleasant and inefficient in a letter? Is that slander or libel or anything? For peace sakes, who are you writing to? I told you, the Borland Hardware Store, and I wish you'd change the ribbon in your portable typewriter once in a while. It's so faint I can hardly read what I've written. And is lawsuit one or two words? Lawsuit? Lawsuit? Oh, don't well, get in a tizzy now. It's really a very trivial matter, and I can handle it. Well, if I you're going to asked... handle it by threatening somebody with a lawsuit, you better let me in on the whole story. Not what is it? Not threatening them with a lawsuit at all. My letter's very nice, but it's very firm. What I'm saying is that this has gone on for six months now, that the mistake is theirs, and I'm tired of it. And I think, you know, they will agree with me that it's ridiculous to get involved in a lawsuit over 75 cents. But that if I get any more unpleasant letters... I thought you said a... this was a trivial matter. Well, it is, dear. That's why it's all so ridiculous. And I didn't want to tell you about it because you have enough on your mind. And, well, anyhow, you always get so excited. And since this is just 75 cents that's involved, I decided I could handle it myself. Now, Look, what I want to know... You go back in the house, will you? Bring out that letter you've written. And while I am polishing the car, I want to hear the whole story. <laughs> Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips is not polite to smack your lips. But you can't help it with Fritos, corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos. Corn chips. Next time you want something to munch on, try Fritos, the crisp golden corn chips made to munch. Full of refreshing flavor on warm days. Get Fritos today, Fritos corn chips. Munch, munch, munch a bunch of Fritos, corn chips. Well, I not only brought out the letter I wrote, but the letters we've gotten from them. Keep on polishing the car, I'll tell you about it. Well, I don't know why so, you've let something go like this without telling me about it. I don't like to sake. bother you with everything, dear. And this was only 75 cents, but it just made me so mad. Because I'd even been down there twice to see about it. Well, I'd so, like to know what it is that they're charging us for. A reamer. A what? A reamer. Well, I knew I hadn't bought any such thing, and it was listed with some other things that I had bought the same day. What did so, you say it was? Reamer. R-E-A-M-E-R. Well, I didn't even know what it was. Neither do I. I told them that. When I, when, I, when I got the first bill, I called them right up and I told them so. And they said, oh, yes, I bought a reamer. It was purchased at the same time I got some light bulbs and fuses and extension cords or something. I said, well, it's true, I got those. Those I would pay for, and I did. But I certainly never bought anything called a reamer since I didn't even know what it was. Reamer. Oh, yeah, I've heard yeah. that word. Reamer. Seems to be something to do with carpentry work, isn't it? Drilling holes or something? Yes. I went down there to complain, and I asked to see one. I said I knew I'd never bought any such thing. I didn't even know what it looked like, and the clerk showed me some. Different kinds, it seems, even. The clerk showed me all the different kinds. I said, no, definitely, I'd never purchased any such thing. He said, well, maybe your husband bought it. And I said, he couldn't have. You didn't do any fancy carpentry work to begin with. And secondly, it was listed with the other things that I bought that day. When I thought back, it was the week you were in bed with your bad back. Well, all right, so, so, so what's happened? The usual, dunning letters for six months or more. I paid for the things I knew I'd purchased, and they, they just keep billing us for one reamer, 75 cents. So again, I call the store. I say I never bought a reamer. Next month, I get another letter. Today, I got this nasty, nice letter from them. But they just know it's an oversight on my part, but they would appreciate it before having... Well, I, I, I know, I know, I never bought somewhere. anything called a reamer. I know that. Look, let's go back into the house. I, I finished the car. Boy, mm. what a job. Well, Poor. it looks lovely, dear. Doesn't it look oh, nice, huh? so shiny. <laughs> Worth <yes>. it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go I, back. I'll, uh... I guess I better start dinner, too. All right, you start dinner, and I'll look up reamer in the dictionary. Uh, Come on. Wait a minute. Betsy? Uh, keep an eye on Bobby now. Daddy and I are going in the house. 
house. Hope you stuck to your fruit salad for lunch downtown today so we can allow some calories for dessert tonight. Yeah, I did, I did, I did. Uh, I must say I never realized what willpower it takes to stick to a diet. <laughs> Fred and Joe and Harry had hot roast beef sandwiches with apple pie. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to have to stop meeting them for lunch. Go off somewhere by myself or else have a, my fruit salad sent into the office. Oh, boy, I'm getting sick of it, I'll tell you that. Where, where's the dictionary? It's in a bookcase, bottom shelf. Well, anyhow, that's the story of my fight with Borland's hardware store, and I think I have a right to be pretty annoyed with them. Don't you, really? Yeah, still I... seems mighty strange. They'd have billed you for something inaccurately when the other things you purchased that same day are correct. How could I have purchased a reamer when I didn't even know what a reamer was? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. that just, I know, you know. I know, I know, I know. you got a point. Did you go back to the same clerk you had and then talk to him? Yes. Yeah. Well, I tried to, but when I described what he looked like, uh, I think tall, thin fellow with a little mustache and blonde, curly hair, it turned out he was temporary help. No longer there. Oh, right? so well, for sake, I mean, he's the one who obviously made the mistake. That's what I he's said no to them. No, there. That, that's what I said. I t- I've been so mad about it. And the second time I, w- I was down there, yeah. I even talked to the manager. They probably uh, do that. And I gave him a piece of my mind, too, and he just kept saying, Well, Mrs. Piper, we have an extremely accurate bookkeeping department, and we never have complaints like this. I said, Well, you are having one now. Having one yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he seemed to think he was justified because he showed me the sales slip, which, of course, I had signed, you know. You signed a yes. sales slip which said one reamer, 75 uh-huh. cents on it? Yes, apparently. I don't know how that happened. Don't maybe. you read what you sign before you sign it? Look, when you charge things and the clerk hands you a sales book and a pencil and asks you to sign, you sign, you assume he's listed what you bought correctly, don't you? I never read the list. I don't Go know. start dinner and let me look up Reamer in the dictionary. Knowing you, there must be more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> Months ago, months ago, didn't you throw out part of our electric orange juice squeezer by mistake? You wrapped it up in the garbage by accident? Yes, 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 I did. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, my dear, is a reamer. Just looked it up in the dictionary. Oh, it's, it's got what? another meaning. It's got another meaning besides a carpenter's tool. Here, here, listen to this now. A fruit squeezer having a ridged and hollow dome projecting from the hollowed center of a plate. There. <laughs> There it is, there it is. Didn't you go down and buy a new one? Well, yes, but I didn't know it was called a reamer. What did you ask for? Well, I just said I wanted that, that, that part of my orange juice squeezer that goes around and squeezes the juice out. And he said, oh, yes, I know what you mean. We got it. You mean that's a reamer? Yes, my dear, that is a reamer. Well, all I can say is you learn something new each day. That's a reamer. That's a reamer. <laughs> so, you did buy a reamer for 75 cents. <gasps> well, I do. I raised such a fuss and denied it. I can't possibly admit it now. No, well, I think I'll do. I think I'll just send, send them the 75 cents, say that I consider the matter closed. But I would rather be out the money than continue to be bothered with anything as trivial as 75 cents, and I'm just Just sending pay the bill. Up. Boy, I tell you, you women. We women? Why do you men pick such ridiculous names to call things when you invent them? Reamer. Why didn't the inventor say, now this part is called a revolving squeezer wheel or, or, or <laughs> Go on. something that maybe... Go on, will you start dinner? I'm <laughs> starved. Oh, this makes me... oh! What's the matter? Look at that. Starting the rain, and I just washed the car. The Couple Next Door stars Peg Lynch and Alan Bunt.